hi guys so in this video we are going to discuss about one of the most amazing topic that is what free expansion this topic is so important for complete examination as well as for understanding one of the most amazing concept of thermodynamics which we generally study after second law of thermodynamics but most important thing is that we understand the many things of this uh, topic by using uh, by the or by the implementation of equation which we got from first law of thermodynamics so first let me tell you definition then we'll get into the understanding part that through uh, diagrams right so what is the definition of this uh, free expansion process it is the pro uh, it is the process it is the process in which in which gas is allowed gas is allowed to expand into vacuum into vacuum right this is the definition of first uh, uh, free expansion now let's understand with the with the you know uh, with an example so we have basically a container this container is well insulated means there is no heat transfer no mass transfer right well insulated container this container is separated this part is vacuum and in this part we have gas now what is happening basically we uh, we have uh, open you know open you know opener here you can see the opener so after opening this open opener what will happen this gas will enter into this part and uh, this will be filled like this all right so what is happening basically this gas is what i ideal gas not real gas okay please remember this this is an ideal gas whenever it is entering the, to this part to this part right the gas will be filled into the whole container it will be everywhere right it will have equilibrium uh, state after some time right but when we'll just whenever we'll just open it there will be some increase in speed of the gas inside the container why i'm telling you this speed increasing because there will be kinetic energy comes into play how will tell you more i will tell you more regarding this because i have to tell you one of the major concept which generally we do not study in this concept in college or in university right so it is very important for you so what is happening basically it is the process in which gas is allowed to expand into vacuum this is known as what free expansion this is what my dear definition but let me tell you by using another method or there is also an another way to achieve free expansion of gas how let me tell you that also by using the concept of piston why i'm using piston because why i'm telling piston because generally thermodynamics used in what automobile field right there we'll have engine and in engine we have piston all right so whenever we are moving moving out piston moving out piston very faster as much faster than fastest molecule of gas then we can achieve this what free expansion i am repeating the definition of that also if piston is moving out faster than fastest molecule of gas then free expansion of gas can be achieved so there are two ways to achieve free expansion one i have written here and then i told you you can note down these two ways to achieve free expansion now let's understand one major thing from here this process this process is so fast so fast or you can say that quick 
सो क्विक देयर इज नो हिट ट्रांसफर नो हिट ट्रांसफर राइट नो हिट ट्रांसफर हिट ट्रांसफर इज जीरो दैट इज नो हिट ट्रांसफर दैट मीन्स डी क्यू इज इक्वल टू जीरो दैर इज नो हिट ट्रांसफर बेसिकली और राइट सो वट यू कैन से फ्रॉम फर्स्ट लॉ फ्रॉम फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडानामिक्स वट यू कैन से डी क्यू इज इक्वल टू डी यू प्लस डी डब्ल्यू और राइट नाउ दिस टर्म इज जीरो बिकॉज देर इज नो हिट ट्रांसफर सो देर इज नो वर्क ट्रांसफर ऑल्सो दिस इज ऑल्सो जीरो so du is equal to zero we got here now here also we got another amazing point i have to tell you dw is equal to what pdv right so this should be zero right you are right but no this is wrong you know why because this dw is equal to pdv work done is equal to pdv is applicable only and only for what reversible process yes reversible process and i have shared the video tutorial of reversible and irreversible process with you already so if you look in definition of reversible process forward and backward path is same also you can say that after the process there will not there will be no effect on the system as well as on the surrounding or as well as on the boundary of thermodynamics because thermodynamics is all it's all about three things system surrounding and boundary all right so this is an it is this, this is for reversible process why it is and so from here we can say that free expansion is a irreversible process irreversible process why because whenever we like we are allowing gas to move to this side automatically it will not come to this side and close it it is not possible possible we yeah, are you can you, you can do this by using camera but in reality it is not possible automatically for this we have to use any kind of external force and then definitely we have to use some kind of work done force into displacement right then again it is not a, it, for for this we can say that this is an irreversible process for getting the previous condition okay so that is why pdv is not equal to zero but yes dw is equal to zero now come to here that is du is equal to zero that means internal energy is constant now we know that internal energy is the function of temperature only right so that means what we can say that ti is equal to tf right that means d2 is equal to zero this is correct but here one important thing most of the examination complete examination they have asked to confuse you we know that d2 is equal to zero is an isothermal process is an isothermal process all right but it is not true why let me tell you in this case of course ti is equal to tf but t is equal to not constant in isothermal process we have what uh, temperature is remains constant but for this temperature is not remains constant how let me tell you whenever we have gas inside it that means we have vacuum this side we have gas inside it we have some internal energy when we open this there would be what kinetic energy will have will have kinetic energy right because gas will flow that means there will be kinetic energy so from where we got this kinetic energy from internal energy of gas that means internal energy will decrease all right if internal energy will decrease then definitely temperature will decrease because temp internal energy is the function of temperature only we know that u is equal to ft function of temperature only but after some time what will happen internal energy will increase because kinetic energy will become zero that means temperature will also increase but initial condition and final condition of temperature will be same but whenever the process is going on temperature first decrease then increase that is why temperature is not constant that is why what we can say isothermal process isothermal process this is not an isothermal process so this uh, concept is first used by J uh, james right james uh, uh, james uh, prescott jule in 1845 
this is also important maybe you can remember so it is i mean it is what i share with you so far now let me share with you another important thing that is what pv diagram this should be like this the pv diagram of free expansion so you can remember this also right and uh, if we'll talk about uh, talk about isomer process right so let's say this is temperature and uh, uh, t temperature right so temperature will be what constant for this case but this is not the case for what free expansion this should be first decrease and then increase you can say this right so this is how you can understand i hope you understand the concept of free expansion so we'll meet soon in the next video thank you very much for watching this video see you soon in my next video bye bye god bless you all